Hey guys, Rich Rifle here, and we are going to play some Nether. So, this is still in heavy beta. Um, it just got released today into the open beta. Well, open beta for those that have pre ordered the game. Um, they're going to be sent out beta keys for friends and stuff on the 31st, I'm pretty sure. But this is going to be a quick video on my first impressions and to kind of show you guys where the game's at and what it looks like and stuff, anyone that doesn't even know what the game is so you can see what it is and what it's about so I might join 29 out of 0 I assume it's meant to show you how many players like the player cap but I'm pretty sure all player caps are 64 so whatever we'll join this one and we'll see what it's all about yeah it's got a loading screen looks alright black screen with a crosshair and nothing much else Glitch that I'm sure will be fixed. Okay, so here's the character selection menu. So obviously you get four characters, and they all have stats and stuff on the right here. So as you level up, obviously you get skill points, and you put them in there. Unfortunately, at the moment it doesn't actually tell you what anything does. So you get upgrades that you don't, not really sure what they're doing, but you still get them, I guess. <laughs> That's the main thing. Uh, so there's not really much customization of characters yet, a few different colored t-shirts and stuff, but yeah, it's side. Okay, so that'll do, I guess. Only pro uh, one more items. Okay, so you, oh, so you get a global inventory. Don't really know what they are. I guess they go on your arm to make you look cool, and that goes on your face to make you look cool. Um, no other items at the moment. In a marketplace, so you can use in-game money you find to buy backpacks and ammo. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You get to look. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, I'm not sure what this. Okay, so this stuff. The yellow ones are special. A special type of cash. So I think I've got 50 because I pre-ordered the game, but I guess they might have microtransactions or something. Settings, they still need to make proper settings, you can't like change your key bindings or anything yet, and you can't even change your mouse sensitivity, which is pretty crap because the uh, uh, mouse sensitivity is super high. But let's just get into the game because it's taking too long. Okay, so here's Nether. It's in a torn down city. The Nether have pretty much taken over the world really, or at least this city. And yeah, so it's overgrown, abandoned, people are dead. And so it's pretty cool. It's kind of like a survival game, just like War Z and Daisy and stuff, except without z instead of zombies, you have Nether, which are these kind of like alien type weird creatures that have come out of I don't even want to know where. And one thing that makes them scarier than zombies, apart from the fact that they look gross and scary as far out. Um, oh, that's a, that, that's a group of people, and I'm about to die. That's really not okay. That's really not cool. So. <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, you can die really easily, and you don't get to see it there, but normally, if you die, you lose all your stats, all your levels. I'm not sure whether they'll change that so that you can maybe keep some of them or half of them or something, I'm not really sure, or keep all your stats, just lose all your items. I'm not really too sure how that's going to work. But oh, it looks like I'm playing with Fo Will, who is one of the developers, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, this chat you can you can make it disappear with F1 if you want to. Bring it back up with F1 if you want to. Uh, there's no tab to see who's actually on the server. If you press if you press Enter and start typing, you can actually see it. But if you're not even if you open chat, it doesn't show it. It's only if you press enter, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But I'm sure they'll change that. Like I said, this is still this is still heavy beta. There's still lots of glitches, and they've even stated that there's heaps of glitches and stuff. Don't expect it to be a full polished game yet. The best thing about this game, apart from the fact that it looks awesome, it does look rather pretty. I'm gonna have to up the graphics, but it looks like it's frame tearing a bit, and there's no V-Sync option. Or well, they could just be my video capture settings. Um, but also the fact that it looks awesome, it looks like it's got a huge potential. The best thing I like about it is the fact that the developers 
they've been on the forums like every day and they're like really seem like they want to do make it make the game that we want to play so they seem to be taking on board like all the ideas of people and they really want to make a balanced fun game for everyone so yeah i'm pretty keen for the final release of this i'm not sure how long how far in the future that'll be but for the moment we'll deal with this kind of glitchy radar They've, they've stated that they're going to try to fix up all the animations and stuff. Especially with like melee combat. Apparently it's kind of a little bit whack. But hopefully I can show you that if I find a nether. So you obviously got the normal health bar in the bottom right with your thirst and your um, stamina. I'm not sure whether they're going to have a hunger and thirst bar or whether the hunger thirst one is just going to be mixed into one and it's just food and water both heal I don't know both satisfy your needs I guess um I don't even know where I am okay so I might go to the safe zone and so you guys show you guys what that is but pretty much kind of like War Z if any of you, some of you have probably watched my War Z videos big player of that game there's a safe zone where you can't you can't attack other players and there's no zombies or anything so it's gonna oh there's another guy let's kill him and take his stuff hopefully he's in his inventory so he doesn't see me coming oh okay so he, he saw me coming but he's probably not on very high health well okay this yeah this melee combat's not too polished yet <laughs> this looks ridiculous <laughs> I was kind of hoping it was like in his infantry menu or something. Oh yeah, I killed him. Okay, so he didn't really have anything. He got a little bit of cash. He got two dollars, so that was really not worth it. Um, small backpack. I don't. I don't think you can actually change backpacks yet, so that's not really useful. Maybe there's a kitchen knife. Okay, so that was a really pointless battle. I was kind of hoping he was like sorting through his inventory and he had a weapon. But as you can see there, the animations and like the fight animations are really kind of off at the moment. It doesn't really... Yeah, it just doesn't really flow that well. But I'm sh they have stated that they're going to be fixing up all of that. So I'm pretty keen for that. It would be really nice if I could find some items to show you guys. Um, I said I was going towards this safe zone, didn't I? Yep, still on my way, I guess. Yeah, but the, th the different thing about the safe zone in this game, which I am actually really keen about, is the fact that unlike War Z and stuff, where once you're in the safe zone you feel really, really safe, in this game, the safe zone can actually be compromised, and the anti-nether devices that keep it safe... Oh, here's a pistol. They keep it safe... Um, they can be just, they can shut down and be destroyed, and you've actually got to go out and fix them. Oh, two pistols! I might just unload that. <coughs> oh, okay. Damn. Maybe that was a trap. <laughs> oh, that's kind of frustrating. Okay. But um. Oh. Game crashed. Okay, so my game just crashed, but I thought I'd log into this character that I loaded up just earlier that I managed to find some loot on just so I could show you guys what the guns look like and hopefully get a kill on another player so that you guys can see what PvP looks like in this game. So, at the moment, the crosshairs are kind of dodgy. It's really glitchy if you open up this scope on this gun. Um, yeah, the animations and stuff did not feel very fluid for the guns yet. But, like I said, blame it on the beta. I'm sure it'll, I'm sure it'll be improved and fixed up. But... 
Anyone that's seen my War Z videos knows I really liked it. Oh! Okay, so we just found someone. Yeah! Just killed him. His body slid. But I saw in the dev commentary that they're working to fix it up. So this guy dropped a little bit of food. 50 cal. 50 cal ammo. I want me some of that. Not that I have a 50 cal, but... Um... Do have some bandages. I got some gum, which doesn't seem to do anything. Someone in chat saying people are shooting. No shit, Sherlock. Some Bromax. Didn't seem to do anything. Maybe that did give me back some health. Okay, so like you just saw there, there's... PvP, um, and it's really easy to die in this game. Lose all your items, lose all your stats. So you, it's very much survival. Like you do not want to die, and you don't. You really don't want to just be. I'm gonna change to my shotgun. Okay, so I just killed another guy, which is awesome. So now, we oh, yep, got three kills. I am on a roll. There are people everywhere. Oh yes, yeah, so much ammo. So I don't know whether the spawns make it so you spawn really close to where you died or not. I think it must do. Little first aid kit is definitely going to come in handy. I really want that 12k gemmer. Um, is there anything else we can drop? Yeah, I dropped the 50 cal ammo. I really don't think I'm going to come across a sniper rifle anytime soon, to be honest. Uh, okay, so pills and stuff don't stack, which is unfortunate, but oh well. So. Bit of a fan of this shotgun thing I got here. It's pretty sick. Although, it doesn't quite look like the picture. Okay, so like you see, there's some. Oh, there's another gunshot. There is PvP, but <laughs> it's not very. not overly fluid at the moment. The animations, like I said, are way off. And bodies sliding around and stuff, but. It's still kind of fun, and you're still obviously very much, like I said, as easy as hell to die. There's another guy down there, so I'll pull out my ranged weapon. I'll see if headshots work. And he's dead. That was cool. Okay, so <laughs> it would have been a little bit cooler if I didn't have such a retarded animation um, on that scope, but in the final game, when they've finished that up, that's going to be so fulfilling. Oh, we're on him. They're looking for me, man. They're all looking for me. Oh. These nethers are not cool, man. Okay, so once you unlock the... Uh, this perk here, I'd very much suggest getting it. There's block one in melee. You can right click to block with your melee weapon, which is very handy for stopping nether attacks. Um, and if you pull up the chat, guys, watch out for Reach I Whore. He's by the tower. Yeah, we're on him. I had hella meds for you guys. Where is he? I think I see him. Oh no, That's, that can't be good. I don't see anyone, but I really want to go get that loot. It looks so nice. But they're obviously in a big group. So maybe I'll get my shotgun out, and I'll just kind of camp it out a little bit. Yeah, I'll just kind of chill up here. Just 
Pretty tall building. Hopefully there's something up top. Uh, I don't know, I guess I'll probably start making videos. Oh, yeah. Fuck, yes. Oh, 45 ACP ammo, yes, please. Uh, you can unload unload weapons and stuff. Which is cool. So that's kind of just like the same as it is in War Z. Just you can organize where your ammos are and whatnot. That was good English, by the way. Oh, that's a bit glitchy. I'm not sure whether that was lag getting me caught under there or not. But, okay, no. This is really glitchy building. But never fear. There are meds up here. Cool, cool. So now i got plenty of health and stuff. No backpack space. I think I can drop, safely drop that. I've already got a shotgun. They said they saw me, but I don't see anyone coming up here for me. <coughs> Sorry, this is kind of turning into a first impressions into a PvP video. Yeah, this is going to get boring if I try and play safe. I'm just going to rush out and see if I can get some kills. And then I guess I'll end the video there. Okay, got another kill. Cool, so this is essentially a Glock. They're still talking about me in chat, which is pretty funny. Another kill, another kill. Mr. Bojangles. <laughs> so this is a bit glitchy. Hey man, hey man, hey man. Bye man. Some more cash. No backpack space for cash, really? Okay, so this is probably a glitch. Which will also hopefully be fixed. Blame it on the beta, blame it on the beta. Okay. Oh shit. So now I got nethers coming. Oh! 50 cal? Are you serious? So I just found a deagle. So. Consume some bandages, and I'll drop that. I don't even need it. Pick up this 50 cal. That'll do some damage. Go back up to the top and get that ammo. Ooh, that is a nice gun. Get some more 50 cal ammo. We are good to go. Oh, cool. So when you pick up a medium backpack, it automatically equips, which is awesome. Well, oh, actually, I don't know. Could be good, could be bad. Okay, so I'm pretty scared now. Um, out in the open, I've got a lot of loot. There's rats. That's kind of cool. A little bit glitchy, boy. A little bit glitchy. Oh wait, main weapon? Oh yeah, shotgun. This guy's telling me where he is, which would never happen in War Z. Where's Westview? Up that way. Let's meet at St. Williams. Oh yes, okay. Sorry, but I'm gonna go on a detour to kill these two, because they're wide open about where they're going. This does not not something you do on a survival game. You do not give out your position on a wide broadcast. So I'm pretty much 
If anything, this is going to be a little bit educational for these two. Although, to be honest, they could just be trolling and completely um, drawing me out so they can get a kill on me. But I guess we'll see. A reaper is leading a surge. I don't know what that means, but it can't be good. Fuck. Okay, so that was really dumb. I just lost all my shit. So, I guess I'll end the game there. <laughs> that was a really bad attempt at jumping between the roofs. Okay. Well, this is Nether. Yeah, hope you enjoyed it. I'll be making a lot more videos of this game. Probably mostly PvP. Maybe a few on tips and tricks and stuff. Yeah, ciao.